allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, podcast listeners. This is Mac Payne here with episode 2-9-er-2-1 of the Vietnam Veteran News Podcast, where we bring you news about the Vietnam War and the brave veterans who served there as told to you by yours truly, a Vietnam veteran. In this episode, I will be continuing my program to pay tribute to Vietnam veterans who received the Congressional Medal of Honor for their service in that war. It is something that needs to be done. I'm doing my part to help make sure the names and deeds of these heroes are forever remembered as long as there is a USA. Another reason I share these stories with you is to prove a point often made on this podcast. The Vietnam veteran generation is as great as any that ever heeded the call of duty from our country. When you hear these stories, you cannot help but agree with that point. Another reason I share these stories with you is to stuff them down the throats of those boneheaded anti-war protesters who said and did bad things to and about these veterans when they came home. They did not realize the error of their ways. If they haven't discovered it yet, I'm going to try and help change their way of thinking. It's something we must do. In this episode, I'm going to tell you about Billy Lane Lawfer. You don't hear much about Billy Lane Lawfer. He was born in Kentucky, grew up in Arizona. But I'll guarantee you, Billy Lane Lawfer could have been president at his home in Tucson, Arizona. I encourage you to listen carefully to the story of Billy Lane Lawfer and what he did for his country in Vietnam, where he was serving with C Company, 2nd Battalion, 5th Cav, 1st Cav Division, in Bindian Province, near Bong San. I feel a special connection to his story because I spent some time there at Bong San. Like every other place in Vietnam, it was rough country in Bindian Province. But that didn't matter to Billy Lane Lawfer. He acted heroically when the time came for him to do that. Sadly, Billy Lane gave his life that day in Vietnam when he was protecting his fellow soldiers. He was only 20 years old when he passed away. As you listen to his story, I'm going to share with you, I encourage you to pay your respects to his memory. The best way to do that is to get rid of all the noisemakers in your immediate vicinity. Look around the room, find the most comfortable chair, sit yourself down in that chair, remove your headgear, and listen carefully to Billy Lane Lawfer's story. He is a hero to us all. With that in mind, let's take a look at the story of Billy Lane Lawfer and what he did for our country in Vietnam. Billy Lane was born in Murray, Kentucky on the 20th of October, 1945. He grew up in Tucson, Arizona, and went to school at Sunnyside High School. Billy joined the U.S. Army in Phoenix at the age of 17, and a little over three years later, he was deployed to the Republic of Vietnam with C Company 2nd Battalion, 5th Cab, 1st Cab Division. His actions on the 21st of September, 1966, less than a month before his 21st birthday, that would earn him the Medal of Honor. On September the 21st, 1966, Billy was a PFC in Company C during a firefight on that day near Bong San in Bindian Province. He single-handedly charged an enemy emplacement, creating a diversion so his comrades could move their wounded to safety. Sadly, he was mortally wounded as he charged that machine gun nest. He was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor for his actions. Billy Wayne was buried at Murray Memorial Gardens in his birth city of Murray, Kentucky. Billy Lane was posthumously promoted to sergeant after that action that resulted in him being awarded the Medal of Honor. To honor his memory, 
A middle school in Tucson, Arizona was named in his honor. Today, Billy Lane Lawfer Middle School in Tucson helps everyone remember this brave individual who served his country in Vietnam. I'm now going to share with you his Medal of Honor citation. It tells the whole story about what he did on that day on September of 1966. That was in the early days of the Vietnam War. His Medal of Honor citation reads as follows. For conspicuous gallantry in action at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty, PFC Lawfer Squad, a part of Company C, was suddenly struck at close range by an intense machine gun crossfire from two concealed bunkers astride the squad's route. PFC Lawfer, the second man in the column, saw the lead man fall and noted that the remainder of the squad was unable to move. Two comrades previously wounded and being carried on litters were lying helpless in the beaten zone of the enemy fire. Reacting instinctively, PFC Lawfer quickly engaged both bunkers with fire from his rifle. But when the other squad members attempted to maneuver under his covering fire, the enemy fusillade increased in volume and thwarted every attempt to move. Seeing this and his wounded comrades helpless in the open, PFC Lawfer rose to his feet and charged the enemy machine gun positions, firing his weapon and drawing the enemy's attention. A note here. Speaking from personal experience over in Vietnam, I'll guarantee you there is nothing scarier than the sound of bullets whizzing by you in the middle of a firefight. What Billy Lane Lawford did when he stood up as those bullets were flying by and charged the enemy machine gun nest required incredible bravery. I am not ashamed to say that what he did was a whole lot braver than something I would probably do. I know what he did that day near Bong Sot in Vietnam was incredibly heroic. We must always remember his name, Billy Lane Lawfer. Continuing. Keeping the enemy confused and off balance, his one-man assault provided the crucial moments for the wounded point man to crawl to a covered position, the squad to move the exposed litter patients to safety, and his comrades gain more advantageous positions. PFC Lawfer was fatally wounded during his selfless act of courage and devotion to his fellow soldiers. His gallantry at the cost of his life served as an inspiration to his comrades and saved the lives of an untold number of his companions. His actions are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit upon himself, his unit, and the U.S. Army. There you have the story of another great Vietnam veteran, Billy Lane Lawfer, who did something incredibly heroic on that day near Bong San. He charged two enemy machine gun nests to protect his fellow soldiers. I hope America realizes how fortunate it is to have people like Billy Lane Lawfer who are willing to serve their country in the military during wartime and when the time comes to act heroically to save their fellow soldiers. On behalf of a grateful nation and all of our fellow Vietnam veterans, I hereby issue Billy Lane Lawfer an official Vietnam Veteran News Podcast salute for his service to his country. Billy Lane Lawfer, you were and still are a great one. Rest in peace, sir. That is my opinion, and I am sticking to it. This is Mac Payne here, closing out episode 2921 of the Vietnam Veteran News Podcast. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. You are cordially invited to return again soon and often to listen to more. That will be coming your way on this podcast, the Vietnam Veteran News. 
Again, thank you for listening. Billy Lane Lawfer, this is for you.